Well, good morning and a fine Kansas City morning it is. This is Pastor Hayton and the Lower Life's Devotional. And I made it to my study earlier today and to have a few minutes that I can sit down and share with you on this little production that we call the Lower Life's Devotional with Pastor Hayton. Now, my Bible says that a merry heart doeth good like medicine. And I believe it must be true because it's in the Bible and the wisdom of Solomon. And uh, if it's in the Bible, we can rely upon that. We can believe it. I know that there are a lot of things in our life that uh, mar our happiness, a lot of things that uh, are burdensome and, and uh, bog us down to where maybe we don't really feel like laughing. But I do believe we ought to laugh once in a while. And I think that there's always something that we can laugh at. If nothing else, laugh at yourself. Man, I... I guess I do enough stupid things that I could amuse myself very easily, and I don't want to laugh at others, but I've found some time that good-natured people will allow you to laugh with them, and laughter can always be beneficial. Uh, when we were kids, we always received the Reader's Digest in our home. Well, I took it even as an adult until a few years ago. But uh, there's a section in the Reader's Digest that was entitled Laughter, the Best Medicine. And I remember when we would get the Reader's Digest, that'd be one of the first sections that I would turn to. Laughter, the Best Medicine. And isn't it true you always feel a little bit better after you laugh a little bit? And so no matter what we're going through in life, we need to take time to laugh. We need to find something to laugh at. And I think Americans need to laugh, and Americans like to laugh. A lot of people have gotten very wealthy by making other people laugh. And it seemed like that if we can uh, discover a little bit of humor as we go through life, that it helps us in the times that aren't so humorous. But I just want to share with you a few things that I was reading today from a travel agent. Travel agent uh, was sharing some funny stories, so I'll share just a few of those. Maybe it'll make you laugh. I had someone ask for an aisle seat so they wouldn't get their hair messed up by being near the window. I'll at least put a smile on your face there. Here's another one. A client called me the other day inquiring about a package to Hawaii. After going over all the cost information and wasting my valuable time getting her the best deal, she asked, would it be cheaper to fly to California and then take the train to Hawaii? I got a call from a woman who wanted to go to Cape Town. I started to explain the length of the flight and the passport information when she interrupted me with, I'm not trying to make you look stupid. But Cape Town is in Massachusetts. Without trying to make her look like the stupid, and I clearly explain Cape Cod is in Massachusetts. Cape Town is in Africa. A man called furious about a Florida package we did. I asked him what was wrong with the vacation in Orlando. He said he was expecting an ocean view room. I tried to explain that that was not possible. Since Orlando is in the middle of the state, he replied, don't lie to me. I looked on the map and Florida is a very thin state. I got a call from a lady who asked, is it possible to see England from Canada? I said, no. She said, but they look so close on the map. Another man asked if he could rent a car in Dallas. When I pulled up the reservation, I noticed he had a one hour layover in Dallas. When I asked him why he wanted to rent a car, he said, well, I heard Dallas is a big airport and I need a car to drive between the gates to save time. I guess these things are true. Uh, at least they ought to be making you smile, shouldn't they? Don't have time for many more here, but I really did like this one. Woman called me to make reservations. I want to go from Chicago to Hippopotamus, New York. So I'd never heard about this town, I asked. Are you sure that's the name of the town? Yes. What flights do you have? After some searching for this city on Google, thinking I can still be surprised sometimes, I told her, I'm sorry, ma'am. I've looked up every airport code in the country. Can't find a hippopotamus anywhere. 
She finally answered, Oh, don't be silly. Everybody knows where it is. Check your map. Finally googled the map of uh, the state of New York and finally offered, You don't mean buffalo, do you? That's it. I knew it was a big animal. Well, this hasn't been spiritual today unless it's made you laugh. And if you've been able to get a chuckle or two, uh, then I think it's been spiritual. Lord, thank you today that thou dost provide that which we can find humor in, and a laughter doeth good like medicine. Bless us throughout the day, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for letting me share, and I'll see you tomorrow on Lord Life's Devotional with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.